Hi there. Trust you're doing great and thanks a ton for taking time to attend this walkthrough. Thousands of educators are already using Edison for online teaching. What is the first thing that comes to your mind when it comes to setting up your online training academy? Your website. Your website is the face of your business. Now let me show you some of the samples. Here is a music academy that is using Edison for teaching music online. Here is a training institute that is helping people complete their grade 10 and grade 12 with NIOIS syllabus. Here is an analytics training institute that is using Edison to train people for a job in data science. Here is an animation training academy that is focused on teaching animation to every kid. And here is a digital transformation institute that is helping people transition their career in the digital domain. Let us talk about the learning experience. The learner can log in with their email or mobile credentials or sign in with Google. Like how you see in Netflix, there is a concept called sub-profiles here. Let's say there is a household with two or three kids. Each kid will have their own profile to log in to the institute. This comes very handy when there are restrictions around kids having their own email ID. So the parent or the guardian has the email ID and the kid has their learning profile to log in to the platform. Let's say I'm logging in as a learner. As soon as I log in, I land up in something called as the dashboard. Dashboard is unique to every learner, every individual. It has the list of all the classrooms that the learner is part of and it will also give the live online session that are scheduled for this particular day. Now here you see a timer that is running that tells the session is going to start in about 9 hours from now at 11.40 pm. And then there is also a news and update section that gives the learner with real-time updates about latest news and announcements that are shared by the subject expert. The learner gets the top three news here and if the learner wants to see all the news the learner just has to click the view all to see all the news that are shared by the subject expert. Now the calendar is also very unique to the learner and it gives a consolidated view of all the live online sessions that are scheduled for the learner. It's very unique and it gives a consolidated view of all the live online sessions that are scheduled across multiple classrooms. Store gives access to the e-commerce storefront and here like how you see in Amazon or Flipkart, there is a classification that's made available to the learner. This helps the learner to immediately focus on what's most important. Let's say I'm interested in CA class. I just click on the live class, I get to see what I want to see. Or let's say I'm interested in Mumbai University courses. I just click on, I, I just click on the classification and the relevant courses appear here. Now, the learner gets the option to purchase a product or make a preview before purchasing. Let's say I'm clicking on preview. I can get to experience the content before making a purchase decision. Very useful when I do not know the quality of the content that I'm going to purchase. This preview gives a sneak peek and confidence to the learner in terms of what can be expected from within the course. The learner likes what they see and the learner wants to purchase. The learner clicks, can click the buy now and make a purchase. And as soon as the learner makes the payment, these two courses or classrooms will be made available to the learner's library. Library is also unique to the learner from the point of view that it has the list of classrooms that are purchased from the store or made available to the learner by the admin from the admin panel, direct enrollment, offline direct enrollment. Then it's also easy to categorize courses that are in progress, not started or expired. Now let's go into a classroom and see what the learning experience looks like. Classroom, as the name suggests, um, is inspired from the real-world scenario. A classroom can be used to organize learning resources, like how we are seeing in curriculum, schedule live online session. The third dimension is the collaboration dimension, which is where the discussion happens. The discussion happens in terms of uh, questions, doubt, clarifications, etc., etc. 
and then announcement for a particular classroom goes into the notice board. Now let me start learning. It's easy for me to consume the video content like how we are seeing here. Or we can even have reference material in the form of text and images like how we see in Wikipedia. Or we can even have a book reading layout with a two column format. The learner can also consume PowerPoint slides directly uh, embedded from Google. Very handy when, when the PowerPoint slides has a lot of animation and converting that into PDF means these animations might get lost. So directly embedding it in the form of PowerPoint slides makes a lot of sense. And then it's easy to consume slider of images, tables, cheat sheet, something like this. It's a, it's a glorified notepad if you look at it, ready reckoners at the end of the unit. It's very helpful when when the unit is long and you want the learner to remember specific stuffs. And PDFs when and we have also added an additional flexibility or configurability to the creators. The creators can decide whether the PDF is a view only PDF or a view and download and print uh, friendly PDF. Now the example that you're seeing here is a view only PDF, which means that the learners will not be able to download or print but they can view the content search search the pdf so on and so forth integrating external content is also very easy like the way you're seeing here it's a simulation that's taken from phet.collarado where where depending on the subject that you're teaching it's it's very easy to embed content from external websites let's say balancing unequal weights and playing around with the center of gravity the students can actually play around with this simulation to understand how, how the center of gravity affects the balancing act the system can draw the charts based on data the teacher uploads the data the system can automatically draw bar charts and pie charts more visualizations will come these are uh, the visualizations that that help people to visualize the data. Now you can show an image and ask the learner to think about it and once they are done, they just get to see the answer. Or you can even have a flashcard based learning where there is a flashcard, there is an audio file attached to it and then people think about the image that's there and when they have an answer in mind, they click turn to know the answer. And then animations. Animations are very crucial from the standpoint of visual learning what Edison has done here is there is a support for Lottie files Lottie is again an open source project that will help the creator to draw their own animations or search from the library of animations that are already available and and good news is Edison supports Lottie and it's also an open source project which means that you're free to create your own design files that helps you to teach better and the students can visualize better as you can see the examples here you can embed podcast you can upload audio to help people learn from from listening to audio podcasts then it's also possible to integrate external content like how we are seeing here it's a scom content let's say you want to have a virtual tour of factory um, that you want people to see you just go ahead and have something like this people can actually have an immersive 3d view in terms of what can be what's what's there what's there on the factory floor and they can just experience all the machineries that are out there before actually making a actual visit to the factory it's possible to if you're teaching coding let's say for example it's also possible for you to integrate external labs like how we are seeing here something like this the system can automatically evaluate the answer and and make it available make the scores available in real time you can capture open response assessments like what we are seeing here then you have something like this track the word everybody likes to to have an interactive engaging assessment and that's what we try to focus you can also give the learners with hints like like how we are seeing here i just go ahead and make my answer match the following we all love this just change this and here is the answer multiple choice questions 
then there is a flashcard stuff like you can show an image ask them to answer and then if you're teaching english you want the students to highlight specific words like how we are seeing here that's also possible the student can submit answers for evaluation like like how we are seeing here i'm a student i've got a assignment to submit i just can go ahead and and submit these assignments for review at a later point in time. I just hit the save and then click the submit and that's about it. That's on the learner side. Now let me go ahead and show how the admin side of the platform looks like. Right? So let me log out. Let me log in as an admin. The dashboard gives a view of the platform usage like how we are seeing here. Classroom is the place where people can create their classrooms like like how we are seeing here. They can also create discussion channels like like the way we are just showing. People have some questions, people can feel free to ask their question. There can be an answer that's given from the admin or from, from any other person that's also possible. And then there's a website builder that helps you to create these beautiful website pages. People takes care of uh, enrollment onto the platform and then payments is all about transactions that are happening on the platform. And and products help you to bundle your classrooms and, and package it and sell the way you want. You can even have multiple price points based on geography. Let's say in India you want to sell it in INR, outside India you want to sell it in dollars. You can have geography based pricing as well and 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 that will also help you to choose your payment gateway provider as well news center helps you to disseminate news across all the platform users as well right so whatever we showed uh, from learning is from classroom standpoint is actually created by by this building block called blocks Right. Blocks help you to define the learning experience that you want to give to your learners. Everything that I showed you is actually created by using these wonderful, good looking blocks. Schedule helps you to automate your schedule. You just you just feed in the key dates with the timelines, uh, pad your Zoom accounts and then your done attendance is tracked. Host allocation happens automatically. And uh, here is a place for you to monitor all the discussions that are happening either a Q&A kind of a forum or an instant messaging kind of a chat that's going to happen with the users. And then you can also drip your content in the sense you don't want the learners to see all the content at the same time, but uh, you want a certain sequence uh, in which this uh, content has to be made available to the learners and this can be based on an enrollment date or a classroom start date. Classroom start date means the date in which the student first accesses the classroom becomes their date zero and then from then on uh, content gets iteratively made available to the learner like how we are seeing here or on a specific date right let's say you want the contents to be unlocked on a specific date that's also something that's very much possible. Right now, coming to the settings part, it's very easy for you to integrate your Zoom accounts, raise a pay, integrate your Google account for a single sign on. That's absolutely possible. You can define your own theme, the primary theme. You can have a different primary color. You can have the site theme, the hyperlinks, and the button text. All button colors all will be based on the two colors that you select here. You can integrate your social accounts. You can give metadata that's more for the purpose of SEO. Then you can define your own font that you want to use across the platform. It's absolutely possible. You can upload your logo. All the branding elements kind of go here. You also have the ability to collect more information about the user from onboarding settings where you can define your own questions that you want to know uh, more about, right? Let's say a learner is creating an account in your platform, you want to know more about them, you can define your question that uh, that you want to collect uh, answers from the learner, right? So that's a cool stuff when you're looking at a free course where you want to learn, learn more about them so that you can understand how you can sell, sell to your target audience better. And then like Netflix, you can also define how many profiles can someone have 
inside an email id and you want to make it you want to make the pin mandatory or not you can also go ahead and do that as well now if you want to give us any feedback use the feedback section whatever new features you want to see in the platform go ahead and post it here we we kind of uh, monitor it very closely and we make it available for upvoting people upvote and and then we put it in the part of our roadmap now roadmap gives you visibility in terms of what's an active development what's in staging what's recently shipped and change log gives you all the details about when a particular feature is made available in production very useful when you're like in out of touch for about a month and then you want to catch up on what are the new feature updates that's available on the platform this is the place for you to check and then coming to support we have a chat support you can ask a question here or you can even search on the help desk let's say you need help with zoom integration you just go ahead and click zoom and then you're kind of done right so so that's about it um hope you found the demo useful uh, if you have any question write to us at cs at we'll be happy to help you get started thank you have a great day